Hey YouTube, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you the difference between my Gen 1 custom, full custom Jesse Jarrus Model 75 and my Gen 2 full tech Jesse Jarrus Model 75. So first we're going to distinguish between the uh, Gen 1 and Gen 2 because that'll be a lot more simple and easier to distinguish the two. So let's first look at the handle. When we look at them kind of at a cursory glance, they look fairly similar. But when you grab them is when you really notice a difference. And I'm trying to see if I can get this lined up. So the handle on the Gen 2, which is going to be on the left, is ever so slightly larger, longer. And like I said, you really notice it when you grab the handle. So I'll show you. When I grab my Gen 1, I have, it appears, all four fingers on it. But if you look, there's actually uh, half of my pinky is hanging off. Now I can grab, grip it in such a way, like this, that I can get all four fingers on. However, uh, the handle leaves something to be desired in the Gen 1. And, uh, you know, I spoke to Jesse about this. I'm sure other people spoke to Jesse about this. And in the Gen 2s, he enlarged the handle slightly so that in every grip there is a completely a four finger grip and I think he did that again partially by elongating this uh, this butt and I think he actually ground a little bit more out of the index um, out of the index finger position but it's kinda of hard to tell I think it's easier to to feel uh, the difference. And uh, so that's that's it with the handle. And then we'll move on to the blade. So we see in the Gen 1 that there is, of course, the flat portion, and then a rather quick uh, race to the tip here. So the, the, the belly is uh, quite abrupt when compared to the Gen 2. We see here the Gen 2 has a much, much more gradual uh, transition between the straight portion to the tip. And I prefer that. So I prefer this um, more leaf-shaped blade, more of a spear point, as opposed to the, uh, the Gen 1, which had a much more rounded type of blade. And I think it actually, um, I think it's a more useful shape. And I, certainly, aesthetically, I appreciate the... Um, um, the more gradual slope better. Also the difference is the pocket clips. So the Gen 1 pocket clips had what I believe were uh, purchased pocket clips. We see these um, straight pocket clips which were completely functional. There's nothing wrong with them but uh, Jesse wanted to uh, make his own pocket clips and then he switched to uh, this style which works uh, just fine. Um, I feel like people really only complain about pocket clips if they don't work, and um, well, these would work just fine, and um, there's not, not to say about that. But really, um, the difference between the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 is quite um, quite minute. Like I said, the the handle sh the handle design and the blade shape, but I think they're um, are extremely useful and definitely warranted. I, I know I, I've used this for months now. This is uh, we're, uh, the beginning of June 2013 as I record this, and I got this in October of 2012, so I've gotten a few months worth of use out of this. Love the knife, but I, like I said, the, the extra uh, grip is definitely appreciated on the Gen 2. Um, yeah, it's it, it really does. It makes a world of difference. And it's hard to um it's even really hard to notice the the difference in the size, but I promise you that it is there. So now let's talk about the full tech. The full tech is um Jesse's line of knives that are designed for um more people to afford them and because 
and they're more affordable because they take less time to make and because they take less time to make he can put out more and it makes everybody just a little bit happier and he does so by kind of cutting down aesthetic different types of um, aesthetic features that don't really reflect the quality of the knife doesn't alter the quality of the knife so first he changes uh, handle materials so the right hand side is the full custom and the left hand side is going to be the full tech the full tech has a G10 handle whereas the right hand side has micarta a lot of Jesse's knives are um, done in carbon fiber or different types of carbon fiber twill but all of his full techs, um, as far as I know, are going to be G10. Uh, apparently it's just easier to work with, it's super light, and it's super durable as we, as we all know. So there's nothing wrong with working with G10. But because this is still a custom knife, he works on these all by hand, they're still completely hand contoured, much like, I'll show you my Gen 1 full custom micarta. And you can see it's completely contoured, especially at this this index shoulder here is very um, very obvious. Oh, please focus. Please focus. Yeah, you can see that there. You can see the contouring. There we go. And um, again, maintains the contours on the G10 full tech. There we go, we can start seeing some of those contours. So there's no lack of craftsmanship there, no lack of detail. Uh, the backspacer on the full tech is carbon fiber, whereas the my particular full custom is uh, micarta again. And then the biggest difference is going to be on the blade. So we see here is that full customs are V-ground. Uh, with uh, double bevels, as we can see here, the uh, polished, polished bevels. Both sides. And the full tech is going to have chisel ground blade, still with the polished bevel. But of note, the full tech has not been ground to the highest, um, how should I say, the highest grit rating. So we can still see some grind lines in the blade. Now these don't affect performance of the knife, I can assure you of that, but they do, they can detract from the aesthetics, that's kind of a personal preference, but they certainly detract from time it takes to, to, to grind the knife. Let's see here, I think this one was done at 1000 grit, 800 grit, something like that. You can see it's not completely a mirror polished, but a lot of the knives that Jesse is doing are completely mirror polished. And then lastly is going to be, um, well, I, I, I failed to mention the time it takes to do a chisel grind is actually a third of the time that it takes to do a V grind, according to Jesse, because um, so it takes, there's three things that take up time grinding one side, grinding the other side, and then making sure that the two sides match. So if you follow Jesse on the USN, you'll, you'll see pictures of him with his uh, micrometer measuring the bevel, or measuring the primary grind on both sides, and he gets them to match. I know he gets them to match at, at exactly one one thousandth, so they're exactly the same at, at the one thousandth level. I believe he actually may do it at a tenth of a thousandth. So that takes time um, that he just does not need to spend doing on the full text. Um, oh, you know, I failed to mention the difference um, first generation, second generation, the pivots. So we see here that it still has the Torx, but this backside on the first gen is a little bit different. So I think that's about it. Um, I'll link my original video reviewing the um, first gen custom, and then I'll also do a uh, link Jesse's video explaining his full tech uh, line. Oh, I failed to mention too the, the difference in, the difference in logoing. So we can see here the, the block Jarus lettering on the full tech and the full customs are going to have Jarus with his, uh, his little wing emblem type of dealie. Alright, that's about it. Um, I'm sure I'll do another video talking just about the full tech and how I like it as far as usefulness. 
But for now, that's it. Um, leave a like if you like, and always.